Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week two of the wedding crochet along or the wedding cowl. Over these next four weeks we are going to be uh, crocheting this beautiful crocheted textured afghan together and it will be worked uh, in seven separate panels uh, which will eventually be joined together at the end and finished off with a simple edging that highlights the texture that is found within this blanket. If you missed the introduction and materials to this crochet along you'll find the introductory video uh, in this playlist on my YouTube channel and please while you're here don't forget to subscribe and as well you'll find uh, the written introduction linked here and the video notes for this tutorial so today we're going to be working on one of the panels and it is this panel, I'll just bring it up here to show you, that features this variation of a waffle stitch pattern. So it's a very highly textured stitch. Uh, it has some great squish to it, uh, making this blanket extra cozy. Okay, so this is the pattern that we are going to work on today. For this panel, you are going to require approximately uh, 1,200 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I am using the beautiful Lion Brand Pound of Love. It comes in great big giant balls, which is excellent for this blanket. Less ends to weave in um, and uh, relatively affordable. Uh, it is a worsted weight yarn, as I mentioned. So if you're using the Pound of Love yarn, you're going to need one ball plus a little bit more. For the blanket in total, you're going to need about four balls of the Pound of Love yarn. Okay, it's 100% uh, acrylic. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Now a free written pattern for this panel, this is the first panel, uh, can be found on my blog richtexturescrochet.com and it is linked in the notes again for this video. And while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't uh, miss a stitch in this crochet along. So the panel that we are working on today is comprised of double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitches. So it has lots of great texture to it. I'm going to start off by taking my worsted weight yarn. I'm going to make my slip knot and I'm going to begin by chaining 65 chains. So chain a total of 65 chains and that's going to give me a panel that me measures approximately 17 inches across. We will work the panel until it reaches about 55 inches. So start by chaining 65 chains. Once you have your chain of 65 chains, you are going to begin your first row by placing a double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and in that fourth chain you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, and work one double crochet stitch. So yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. That's your double crochet stitch. You are then going to work one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across your work until you come to the end, you are going to have a total of 63 double crochet stitches and that is including your chain three. Your chain three here at the beginning will always count as your stitch. So always included in your stitch count, you're going to have a total of 63 double crochet stitches. Thank you. 
at the end of your foundation chain there, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. Now we are going to get into the fun part and start working some of that texture. So we have our chain three here, our turning chain. Remember that always counts as a stitch. So we are going to skip working in that first stitch because it always already has our chain three coming out of it, okay? So then for row two, you're going to front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch. So this is your first stitch here where you have your chain three. This is your next double crochet stitch. And we're going to crochet around the post of it. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook around the post working front to back and then front again around the post of that next stitch. You're then going to yarn over and drop a loop and then complete your double crochet as you normally would. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two more. I'll show you that once again. So to work your front post double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over around the post. So the post is this long part of the next stitch. You're going to insert your hook from front to back and then back out the front again, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two more. So that is your front post double crochet stitch. Next you're going to double crochet in the top of the next stitch. So that's just a normal double crochet stitch in the next. Now you're going to repeat front post double crochet around the next stitch, so yarn over, insert your hook from front to back, out through the front again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two, and yarn over and draw through two more. That's your front post double crochet. So continue to repeat that all the way across to the end. Remember when you come to the end of your uh, first row there, that chain three counts as a stitch. So you're going to double crochet, front post double crochet, all the way across. When you come to this chain three, you're going to place your final double crochet in the top of that stitch. So I have my front post. Now it's a double crochet in the next stitch. And front post double crochet around the post of the next. Double crochet in the next. And then front post double crochet. So complete that all the way across. I am now at the end of my row two at my beginning turning chain. So in the top of that chain, in the third chain there, I'm just going to work my final double crochet stitch. And that brings me to the end of row two. Next, I'm going to chain three and I'm going to turn my work. Now for row three, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by uh, skipping this first stitch because my chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. And I'm going to start by working a double crochet stitch in the next stitch. So work one double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet in the next. So your front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch stitch. You're going to repeat that for row three all the way across. Double crochet in the top of the next stitch and then front post double crochet around the post of the next. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to just as you uh, started with two double crochet stitches in the tops of your stitches here, you're going to end with two double crochet stitches in the tops of those stitches. Okay, so double crochet, front post double crochet, all the way across to the end of your row. I am at the end of my row two, so I'm going to finish with my final double crochet stitch in the top of my turning chain three, just like that. I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to turn my work. 
I'm now ready to begin row three. For row three, we're going to start off by working a double crochet in the top of the next stitch. Remember in row two, you started off with that front post double crochet. Well, this time we're gonna start with a double crochet stitch, just in the top, just like that. You're next, you're going to work your front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across now. So double crochet in the top of the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next. Continue that all the way across to your final chain three, and then don't forget to work your double crochet stitch in the top of that final turning chain. I'm marking my final double crochet in the top of my turning chain here, which will bring me to the end of row three. I'm going to chain three and turn my work. Now for the rest of this panel, you are simply going to repeat rows two and three until your work from the beginning measures approximately 55 inches. So your row two began with your front post double crochet in the next stitch, and your row three begins with the double crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to continue to repeat rows two and three until your work from the beginning measures approximately 55 inches. Then I'm not going to show you it in this video, but if you head on over to the written pattern, you'll find the written instructions there for your edging. You're going to work a simple single crochet edging all the way around uh, your entire panel. To work this edging, you're simply going to join your yarn in the top of the slip stitch, single crochet across. You're going to work three single crochet stitches in each corner. Along these rough edges, you're going to work a total of 197 single crochet stitches. Now you may want to uh, add or subtract single crochet stitches along these long edges depending on uh, your own preference. That's okay. Just remember to write them down because you're going to want each of your long panels to have the same number of single crochet stitches along this long edge. So just make sure that you make note if you make any changes. I'll make it much easier joining in the end. So thank you so much for joining me for this uh, week two of the crochet along for the first panel. Uh, happy crocheting and until next time, bye.